What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. As you saw in the title of today's video, we'll be reviewing the new limited edition Ellie Pal Titan, which I have right here, as you guys can see. Make sure you get a good look at this bad boy. But we're gonna be reviewing this in today's video, and it's basically a brand new product that has hit the market and right in the nick of time too. Because as you know, and most should be aware, the former crypto giant FTX exchange, as well as Alameda, has officially declared bankruptcy and is pretty much locked custodial accounts and stopping people from withdrawing their funds. And unfortunately, this is an ongoing issue that we've seen countless times with exchanges in, in the crypto market. Uh, and it's a problem that can 99% be avoided. Hardware wallets are one of the most important tools for modern cryptocurrency investors, especially people that have a lot of crypto. Now, with exchanges, as we see, leveraging customer funds behind their backs and hackers all over the internet, investors turn to hardware wallets to protect themselves from these attacks. Now, hardware wallets are devices made to store cryptocurrency. People who invest a lot into crypto tend to use hardware wallets more because it offers more security than other ways of storage, such as exchanges exchanges or on mobile wallet apps or stuff like that. Exchanges like FTX and Celsius and even Mt. Gox were very popular places where people actually stored their crypto in because any crypto stored there could be easily traded and it was simple, convenient, you know? But the problem with doing that that not many people realize is these exchanges are called custodial wallets because the crypto you stored inside them does not fully belong to you, just like when you leave money in a bank. Now, if the exchange obviously decides to stop its services or gets hacked, your crypto will be lost and usually can't be recovered. Now, the thing is when serious investors really want to hold on to their large amounts of crypto uh, without actually worrying too much, while also having full access to their assets whenever they want, they usually side with hardware wallets or cold storage wallets. Now, in the past, we have reviewed the previous EliPal many years ago, I think in 2017, and also the EliPal Titan, which we reviewed just a couple of weeks ago. But today, we'll be unboxing and setting up the EliPal Titan Mini, the newest to their fleet of hardware wallets. Now, for those that don't know what EliPal is, they're basically known to make the most secure air-gapped hardware wallet or cold wallet uh, for many years. And the wallets specifically themselves are 100% offline at all times and do not have ports or elements that allow them to be connected to any network or device. Now, the best part is EliPal's newest model, the EliPal Titan Mini, is a small and very sturdy hardware wallet. It's another option on their fleet of hardware wallets. And it's made out of, you know, uh, aluminum and has a large LCD touchscreen for easy navigation. Now, the EliPal Titan Mini is designed to be used with the EliPal mobile app, as all their wallets do. Now, once the app is downloaded, you can then sync the device with the mobile app through a QR code technology. Now, EliPal chooses to use QR codes over other sources of, you know, transferring data because other types of connections like Bluetooth and USB wires and even 2FA are known for potential hacks and scams. Now, the reason QR our codes are better is because the information doesn't actually have to, you know, pass through physical mediums to travel through and they don't have a physical device like a SIM card to be used for a Google 2FA. Now, the EliPal app has a ton of features, including uh, a vast list of cryptocurrencies supporting uh, buying and trading and staking, investing, and most importantly, access to dApps, which is very cool. And unlike other hardware wallets, the EliPal app does not require the user to install specific apps to store specific coins. Now, each account on the EliPal can support all currencies at once without any memory storage limit, and it's also very easy to manage. Now, another unique feature of the EliPal Titan Mini is its anti-tamper protection, which protects you from your assets against a physical attack if somebody found or tried to break into physically into your device. And whenever that happens, the EliPal Titan detects a breach, and then it will automatically delete all the data on the wallet and make it unusable, which is awesome. And this is why storing your seed phrase is extremely important and also important to write down your private key because it will keep your assets safe and allow you to recover your assets at a later time if your wallet is ever stolen or lost. All right, so let's open this bad boy up and see what exactly comes in the EliPal Titan Mini, the premier edition by EliPal. Clearly, you guys can see my uh, ring light here, but hopefully when I take this wrapper off, it will be a little less shiny. All right, much better. Now you guys can actually get a good view of the EliPal Titan Mini in this gorgeous gold lettering font here. 
This is the Premier Edition, so we'll see what's special about that. The Alipel logo on the bottom. We have Alipel on the side. We have some stuff about this on the top. Alipel Titan Mini. You can secure and manage 40 plus coins and over 10,000 tokens, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. XRP, that's a big one for this channel, and more. One stop hub for financial management. That means we could send our XRP from Bityard from the Bityard exchange to uh, the LA Pal Titan Mini, which is awesome, which is very convenient. You can see here, no cellular, Bluetooth, USB, Wi-Fi, or NFC involved. Anti-disassembly, anti-tamper, trust trustless trust, QR code, LA Pal security protection system. Let's open this bad boy up and see what comes in the box. All right, let's see. This is the LA Pal Titan Mini. Very, very, very cool. I do like the way this looks right off the bat. They're beautiful. This is a massive screen. There we go, Ellie Pal. And it comes with this right here. It's probably to charge. Let's see. So we have the actual Ellie Pal itself. Gorgeous design. This seems to be charging. So it appears there's no way to get in this. Notice you have the on button right here, the power button. Yep, the power button right there. And that's it. Like there's no way to really get in this. It's fully enclosed. This is the premier edition, as you guys can see here. Similar camera on the back, Alipal air gapped. And then that's where you would charge it. So you'd take this, instead of using a uh, US, uh, here you can see we have a charger, USB-C. Is this the SD card slot? It appears, and that's the charger. You put the charger like this and you are good to go, which is interesting because you can see we have Ellie Pal right there, USB-C, which we do know can transfer information, but, and then we have an SD slot. Very interesting. I guess we'll have to uh, see what else comes in the box, power it up, set it up, do a quick little update, which was, I was told to do, and then we'll go from there. So let's see what else comes in this. We've got some paperwork. We have a carrying case, a very cool carrying case indeed. We can take this off, open this up. simple enough and then you can close it and this is how you would store it away you'd store it like this and then we have a usb to USB C and an sd card made in taiwan a 16 gigabyte sd card pretty big but uh, let's see how we set this up on the computer. So once you download the update software onto the SD card, which is super easy, they give you a website, you then have to just follow the steps by clicking the update that's actually on the device and then download and copying all the files from the SD card over to the device itself. Once that actually happens, it'll then update, uh, it'll, it'll download the update and then install the update and then reboot when everything's done and then restart and you'll be good to go. It was pretty easy. Uh, like I said, just follow the website and you'll be able to get all the information there step by step on how to download it on either Mac or on Windows, which is very, very, very helpful because usually they don't have a Mac on it, which is what I have. But that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So I had to switch cameras to my iPhone because the screen when I turned it on wasn't showing that well in the camera lens and my iPhone seems to show it a lot better. So I just want to turn this on and walk you through it. Let's get this bad boy powered on, as you can see here. And now I'm just going to remove this make my life a little bit easier because of this uh, screen. There we go. Gorgeous. Now you can actually start to see the lines that I was seeing before. Now we're seeing it a little bit more, but it's still okay. But you can see select language. We click English. Then you can download the Ellie Pal app just like that using QR code. We click this. So we have create account, recover mnemonics and import account. The best part about these is let's say we lost this device and you wanted to redo it. Let's say you wanted to reaccess it and you had your mnemonics. What you'd be able to do is buy another device and then literally just click recover mnemonics and then you would enter your seed phrase here super easy and import all your data onto this and you'd be able to you know go from there in case you lost this or it was stolen or something like that which is awesome but you so moving forward you have to click create an account you can set your account name let's do crypto tv and it's awesome they have a full screen right here we type in crypto oops crypto t v and then we click next very you know uh touch sensitive the second you touch it it works we set an account password let me do that the next options that we have is select address type general or segwit 
it has it auto chosen to segment, but I'm going to click general because I don't think it, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Uh, pass phrase optional. I'm not going to do that. Just setting up created successfully. Please back up mnemonics. And we get the uh, backup mnemonics right here. Mnemonics is important for asset safety. Once lost, you will never get your account assets back. Back up now. Let's click yes. Mnemonics will not store in or export from EliPal. This app is this is the only chance to back up. We click yes. And we click please back up mnemonics in a safe place without cameras. Back up now. And then here it is, so we get all the backup mnemonics. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be using this, so don't try anything fishy, but um, this is what it would be. And then we click next, verify mnemonics. Once you have written down your passphrase, you then get the option of selecting your coins, which is awesome here. You can see all the available option coins, Ethereum, Binance, BNB, XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. I mean, when I'm telling you this is an ever ending list, there are a ton of altcoins that they offer on here and some of the major altcoins that as well. We then click OK and you can see all the ones that we have available. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for today's unboxing and setup of the Ellie Pal Titan Mini. If you guys would like to purchase one of these, then make sure to check out the link in the description of today's video. It does help support the channel. But if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments below and either I or the Ellie Pal team will happily answer them. Uh, but with that being said, guys, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.